uh, it's something different at the uh, Home Depot. They got all the Christmas stuff out already. So let's just go walking around. There's a great book I said to read. It's called Goodbye Stuff, I think, Goodbye Things. By a Japanese guy, has been translated. Let's see. It's been translated to English. And it just basically talks about minimalism and just get rid of stuff. I know I see all the Christmas stuff. Oh man, let's buy it. But then it's like you gotta store it. You gotta put it away, store it, you gotta get it out. Most times you forget you have it. It just accumulates and the more crap you get. So I don't know. Just walk away. Alright. Do 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 oh Milwaukee. We got some Milwaukee stuff. Accessorize your tools. That's smart with the rack. That's a pretty cool smart thing. There's some storage stuff. Boxes. Bubble wrap. Alright. This guy's got a motorcycle in Home Depot. I didn't know that was allowed. They got scooters and bicycles, e-bikes. Hoodlums, hoodlums. No, good for them. They're out doing something, at least not playing video games. All right, let's go. We're looking for HVAC filters. It said aisle five. Oh, bingo. Bum, bum, bum. Jump, jump, jump. All right, 2020, 20. I need 20, 20, 20. Murph. Get the cheapy ones. You don't want much resistance because you don't want to overheat. There we go. You don't want to overstress your system. How much? Twelve bucks. That might be my price point. Same ones, right? FPR 5 2021, Dustin Pollen. Solve Dustin Pollen. Is there a high flow one? Wait, what's the actual dimensions? are too flimsy these are too flimsy they get they get sucked up in the uh, they get sucked up in the uh, HVAC intake 2020s 2020 let's see hi food what do we got no nah, that's too much that's way too much money they say you want about a uh, Murph this one does have a Murph rating on at least eight does this even have it on the cover all right, this is what I do, this is my life. Yeah, I'm looking, I'm looking. Murph, there it is, guys. Merv, not Murph. Not Murph, Merv 8. This might do, so not much resistance. The higher you go, up in the Merv 12s and that, you get a lot more resistance, and it may uh, make your HVAC air handler work harder. How about that, a little knowledge, a little knowledge can, uh, a little knowledge does you good, right? All right, let's see. All right, let's keep looking. There's a lot of people at Home Depot. I mean, not really, but filters. Reverse osmosis. You want the reverse osmosis filters. You want a five stage. There you go, five stage. That's what you want. And you want it. You want it built into your sink. I have a standalone attachment. You still gotta buy the filters. 80 bucks a year. 80 bucks a year to have clean water. Hormone free, toxic free, all that stuff. Check it out. Reverse osmosis. Again, you gotta get it installed. That's the best way. 
or you can pay 400 bucks for the uh, desk mount one, the countertop one, which is eh. I have that. I don't know. After a couple years, I'm not feeling it. Ooh, baking soda. Those are freezer ones. I don't know if I need freezer ones. Fuck each man. I'll take them. Put them in the car, you know? Bucket. Oh, I need a good paint bucket. I need a good paint. Let's go to paint. Oh, I passed the paint. What are we doing at Home Depot today? Oh, let's go see if they got some surface shield. La, la, la. Hardware. I think I went too far. Oh, here we go. All righty. What do we got? Blaster. Oh, surface shield. I love this stuff. It's just like a fluid film. We don't have fluid film here. Wait. The depot. How much are fridges, man? Oh my god, 1200 bucks? Where's that nice LG one? Shopping, shopping. This is the best time to come to Home Depot right before they close on a weekday. Never come on Saturday. It's too, everyone and their mother's here. Sunday night, maybe, but everything's all picked over. So I found that middle of the week right before they close you can actually get around and not be swamped wow guys wow i'm glad i could i'm glad i look at my old video where i fixed mine i had one just like this a little bigger a lot bigger than this but the board went on the bag it was just a stupid little um resistors like 10 cents each if that but i just replaced the board but i kept the old one so i just got to buy those resistors and then uh i have I think two backup boards. All right. I don't like any of those fridges. Oh, here's the one, the fancy ones. This is the LG. Look at that. You know how to open it. Look at that. You can actually look in. Oh, a little water thing. Look at that. Oh. Oh, how much is this thing? Dear God, 2200 bucks. I feel like I've been in a time warp. And then I'm um, now here looking at stuff going, oh my God, this, what has happened? Especially with cars. I got my Toyota Tacoma. 30K, about 31, 30K. Now they're about, what, selling for, used or selling for that. And then new Gen 4s are about, what, 55K? It's ridiculous. Do not buy a new car. All right. Paint bucket time. Ooh, vinegar. What's this? I don't know if I want lavender. Do I want lavender? No. Let's just get... I don't think I need any vinegar. Well, let's see. Ammonia? Let's get some ammonia. Not cheap. <laughs> that ain't cheap. I don't even know if that's his brains. Oh, here we go. Vinegar. I am striking out here. What am I looking for? Vinegar. It's popular. Oh, here it is. HDX is the cheap crap. HDX need some ammonia. HDX. All right, now let's go find. Oh, they had the vinegar here too, I think. Just for cleaning. Right, let's go find a paint bucket. Paint bucket. Oh, 
bum, bum, bum. rollers, rollers. Do, 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 do. Do, so how's everybody doing? Huh? Good, good. Glad to hear. Getting excited about this election. I hope we have an election. Uh, you never know. What's all the crap going on? Anyway, I need a paint bucket. Oh, there we go. Heading over to the buckets. Heading over to the buckets. That's what I want. One with gauges on it. How much, how much can I hold? Two gallons. That's four, four quarts. You can go with a bigger bucket, right? Two gallons. Four quarts in a gallon. I'm pretty smart. I went to public school. It's not broken. All right, that'll do me. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. I don't need anything else. Just a little walkabout. Oh my God, I got the HVAC thing. So basically in my previous video, it was the breaker. The guy came out. He didn't speak English, which is fine, but he jumped right on it. Just pulled that, ripped that 50 amp breaker right out without cutting the main source power and uh, flapped the new one in. I went up and hit the thermostat on the HVAC, condenser kicked right in. I'm like, oh my God, when? win i mean it cost me some money but just goes to show you you think it's the hvac acting up no it's just the freaking breaker switch because you never even turn those off how much do you service those things when you turn them off once they get installed and the switch is probably like freaking 25 years old and it just once i moved it to turn it off to clean it the outside coils it just probably was all rusted inside it just blah, blew fell apart all right that's it guys i'm out of here i'll talk to you later Ah, oh, a little walk down. Oh, let's go look at the Christmas trees one more time. More junk. Oh my God, look at this stuff. There we go, we'll leave, you, we'll leave you with this photo, this shot. It's October, I don't know, 15th, 17th? I don't know. Christmas is here. <laughs>